Uh, right, I'm gonna wet all my paper all the way across. Dee 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 dee, top to bottom. Dee 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 dee, dee 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 dee, like us, that us. Right, let's say a bit of, say a bit of cream colour. I think. Brushing oh, wet. That's it. That's better. Let's say a cream colour. Bit of cream colouring fast. So we're just coming in from all angles like that. Bit of cream colour. In from here as well, like that. Same from here. Bit of cream colour. There we are. Nice, right. Let's slap in some. Oh, I've gone dark blue. Let's put some. Lighter blue in fast. Get some lighter blue in. Just leaving some of that cream. When I get to this bit here, I'm going in a straight line because this is going to be water. Where's the Miss Guy's curving in? There we are. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go to some darker blue now. Bring the darker blue in on this side. Ding, ding, ding. Like that. To the straighter bits there that's nice and then i think I'll tell you what let's go into some brown let's go straight into some brown now bit of bontumber i've not washed my brush so this is bontumber mixed with that blue look at that nice i'm gonna have to pull this paper straight in a minute bontumber mixed in with that blue let's get me a lovely Finish, oh, I like that. That's nice. <laughs> That's perfect. What I'm looking for. A tiny bit more, just in there. Lovely, jolly. Right, let's pull this paper tight. It's all cockling in the middle. That's better. That's better. Not be a second. It's. Uh, Nice and tight, stretch it. So this is, you can pre-stretch your paper, you can wet it fast, pull it tight, let it dry, and pre-stretch it. There we are, that's that. Right, now then, um, I'm gonna go for quite a pale color now. I've not washed my brush actually, it's got bits of that blue on it. It's a brown on it and I've dipped into more blue but I've got loads and loads of water on my brush now so it's going to be a really pale thin colour I could dry this but I'm thinking of like a soft sort of soft sort of thing on it it's actually taking a bit of colour out there there sort of across there like that in there a bit more there like that, bring it across and then I've got some sort of horizon line in here so if I'm a horizon line there like that try your best to get that horizon line straight because if that isn't straight then it's going to look massively daft um, I'm going to have another bit coming up here so I'm just going to take that up with that colour as well for now but I'll be popping some more colour in on top of that in a minute. Right, I think let's just uh, dry, dry it all. Sip of me coffee. Mm. Mm. Now I'm going to thicken up this layer here. So I'm going to get a, this one's going to be a bit closer. So I'm going to mix a darker blue, a 
and stick in a tiny, tiny bit of Payne's Grey in there. So let's bring that up a bit, up round there a bit, across there a bit, and down there. Let's take it quite far across to about there. That looks nice. I'm making it up. I'm making this one up. It's not. I've not got no um, no uh, thingy photograph for this one. Just making it up. Totally making it up. Right. Put a bit more mud into it. I've got some mud in the bottom of my palette. What's made up of Payne's Grey. And bon tumba, so that's already ended up working its way into this. I'm going to keep adding tiny touches more bon tumba into it, and bits of mud out the bottom of my palette as I come closer. So it's going to get less and less blue. Can you see how it's going darker already? Look, look at that. See how that one's darker than that one. Got some textury bits there, what look like bits of rocks and things. Right, let's bring it more out this time. It's getting closer. Can you see that? That colour's changing. It's getting closer. Let's add a tiny bit more browning. Oh, yeah, look at that, you see. A tiny bit more watering. Well, when you've got less water, your brush breaks a bit and you get some of these little, what look like rocky textures and stuff. Looks pretty nice. Right, let's bring this across here and uh, right out here. I'm thinking now. Nah. Like I said, you, you can sort of do what you want with your own, really. I'm making this up, so you don't got to follow mine exactly. It's not like mine, even when I'm working. If you're working from a photo, you ain't got to do an exact copy of your photo. You never really need to do that. You can always. The photo's there to help you, this is a bit of help, but it don't mean to say that you've got to do your picture, same as photo. So often I look at a scene and I think, oh, I like that scene, but I wish that one's in it. Well, just don't put that in it, whatever that is. Don't put it in. You've got to stick everything in. That's the brilliant thing about painting. When you take a photo of something, if you're a photographer, you're stuck with what's there. Well, I suppose nowadays with a computer you can probably edit it out. I don't know, I'm not, I don't know how to do all that stuff. You probably can nowadays. But if you're a painter, you can just do whatever you want in it. <clears throat> I might start putting some rocks and stuff in soon. I've got little rocks in already. What's just happened? Just where my, look at stay to the end of that brush. It's giving me little rocks anyway. Mm. Oh, my coffee's good. Let's get some more of this bontumber on this brush. A bontumber, a tiny bit more of that blue in it. That's sending it actually a green colour. It looks nice. And green's good because this ain't grass, but it's a dark green colour. And these rocks, wherever you've got a damp environment, I don't think I'm going to need to put no rocks in this. Look at that, it looks like there's rocks everywhere, little pebbles. Just because end of my brush is bashed up, working brilliant. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the the green colour. These rocks, wherever you've got a damp atmosphere, you're always going to have um, moisture. What's going to make algae and stuff and moss and things like that. So don't worry too much about. If it's going a bit green. In fact, you know what? Let's add a bit of green in. Let's add a bit of actual. I've got some old green mixed up in my palette. Let's add a bit in for some mosses and stuff just to show you that rocks can be a green colour. They definitely can. Got all these mosses and stuff in there. If you want to kill green, add a blob of red to it. It'll kill it straight away. But what I'm going to do, dip in water and just soften this bottom area in. With some water like that, look. So it sort of fades its way out. See, plenty of water in this corner bit, I'm thinking. Just because my focus wants to be more in the middle of my painting, perhaps. <laughs> Turn that brown. Touch of that green. Yeah, if you get so if you get if you're painting your green, you think, oh, it's a bit too green now. Getting sick on it. Stick some uh, 
read it. Anyway. I'm quite liking a bluey tint to these rocks because the, the whole atmosphere is blue, so they would they're probably going to have a bluey hint to them anyway. And this blue and burnt umber's edging towards a green as well, but that's not going to. I'm not going to mind that. There's some f few rocks and things out here. Look, these are all rocks and things. A little bit. You know what? I think I'm about done with that for what I'm putting in. Let's just bring this up a bit. I'll just put pop a few. So I'd say it's looking they are looking like rocks anyway. But these pop a few little rocky more rocky bits on. Same here, look, some of these, let's just give them a bit more of a rocky look on these ones that's sticking out here. If it's not walking up, get your brush, especially if it's damp. Let's have some of that water from there, look. Borrow some water from there, get your brush. Just tip it back on, look. It's not walking. That'll just re-wet it. And you can hopefully turn them. Is it working? It's not working very good, but it's working a little bit, look. We'll get a few little rocky patterns, you can get a few in there. Couple right back there, look. You're not going to see. You're only going to see the massive boulders back there, and it, so that little tiny one there, because it's so far away, that's probably a massive boulder. Yeah, that's looking nice. Yeah, you could just put that in at random. Bum, 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 bum. Did you know, right? <coughs> back in olden days, we used to have a thing called. Capital punishment, right? Because I, I always watch stuff on the internet and that. But back in old days, I learned this the other day. Back in old days, they had a thing called capital punishment, right? And what they used to do, if you'd been bad, they used to be caffeinate you. Could you imagine that? Having your head chopped off. Just think, just think if it was uh, ale stone in and you had your head chopped off and all the ale stones is going in the hole. Just think how bad that would be. Really bad. <laughs> right, let's get some Peter and Paul in here. Peter, Paul. <whistles> Flying about, trying to catch some fish or something. Let's have... Let's have just here. Don't want them in the centre. Don't put a focal point in the centre. A couple of boats. Ooh. All right, so I need some designer's white gouch now. I'll pop a couple of boats in. Plenty on my brush. I'm just mixing it because it's dried out in me little palette. My designer's white gouache gouch. It's dried out there. That should be okay. Oh, let me just try that so I can rest my hand on it. dry enough to rest my hand on that's it uh, that's what another reason why I like to dry just so I can rest my hand on stuff there we are a little yacht there little sailing oh they're so white and I'll put a reflection in but you're not going to see it I don't think because it's so white there a couple of little yachts there we are ones I need now there's a uh, that bit, no, that bit's still wet. BD, pop it there. B, D, B, T, D. Jobs are good, and that's to the end, beach. Innit? 